hey guys welcome back to my channel today we are making sea moss gel i've been on this sea moss kick for about a year maybe a year and a half now and i love sea moss there's so many benefits to sea moss so once you get your fresh raw sea moss the first thing you want to do is rinse it we have to wash it it comes straight from the ocean so we want to make sure that it's nice and clean While you're rinsing your sea moss, you definitely want to inspect it for impurities. Sometimes I find these dark roots. I don't know if they're roots or really what they are, but they don't look appealing to me. So what I'm gonna do is cut that thing off. Sea moss is a light color. Sometimes you'll find some darker pieces. To me, it seems kind of stale. So I cut the stale pieces off and I keep it moving. You really want to take your time and wash the sea moss thoroughly because unless you live in the Caribbean, your sea moss is coming from very far. They had a very far journey. So you want to make sure you're only using the most fresh pieces. Sea moss contains 92 of the 102 minerals that your body needs to properly regulate itself and function. All these amazing minerals help boost your immune system, improve energy, dissolve mucus in your body, helps with joint and tissue health, digestive health, constipation, mental health, weight loss, eczema, reduces the effects of radiation, helps with cold and flu systems, iron deficiencies, it helps with thyroids, cholesterol, blood pressure, strengthens bones, and so much more. CMOS is truly the answer to almost anything and everything. So after you give your sea moss a nice rinse, you want to grab a lime, make sure it's nice and clean, and then squeeze some fresh lime juice onto your sea moss. Then we wanna transfer the rest of the sea moss into a nice big bowl, adding some fresh spring water, the rest of the lime juice, and a few slices of lime. And yes, I'm gonna act like I didn't just spill water all over my counter. Y'all can skip that step. <laughs> We're gonna let our sea moss soak in the water for between four and 24 hours. I like to leave mine overnight in the refrigerator. Now it's time to blend. So I add some of my sea moss to my blender. I also add some of the water that it was soaking in overnight and get the blending. I try to start with as little water as possible because I like my sea moss to be an applesauce kind of texture. Don't want it too watery. You can always add more water, but you can never take the water away. So start with little water and add as needed. Some people prefer to use fresh spring water when they're blending their sea moss, but my sea moss was just in this water all overnight and some nutrients are in it, so why not use that? You use whatever you desire. Blend, blend, blend until you get your desired consistency. I like to add a little more lime while I'm blending. The more lime, the less sea taste from the sea moss, but obviously only add what you like. I end up using about one whole lime. Then I transfer it to a fresh clean mason jar. I try to make at least two weeks worth at a time. You shouldn't store it for longer than that. Um, some people do one week at a time, but I have natural hair. I don't got time to be doing this every week. 
store your sea moss in the fridge overnight. It should turn from a liquid base to a gel base and you're ready to eat. I prefer to eat my sea moss raw, so I just dig in with the spoon and eat it like applesauce. One spoonful a day keeps the doctor away. Thanks for watching.